Hi, second graders. If you were able to join us for our lesson today, yay. If you missed out, could not be there for some reason, um, or had problems getting on to our Zoom session, um, here it is. The book is called Leave Me Alone, and I'll get the title right. A tale of what happens when you stand up to a bully. So today we're talking about what to do if you have a problem. If someone is being mean to you, if someone's making you feel uncomfortable or scared or frustrated. So let's read this, talk about what you would do, and then we'll do a little practice. Um, the, the cover, I think, says it all. Can you tell how the little boy is feeling? Yeah, I can. And I'm guessing I know why he's feeling sad based on the title. And I bet you can figure it out too. Yeah, he is having a problem. So I am going to screen share with you because I think it's the nicest way to see this book and to really enjoy the pictures that it provides. Leave me alone. I mean, sorry about the sunshine. I'm going to record earlier <laughs> in the day next time. Um, the shadow gives you an idea of um, a little foreshadowing of what is going to happen in our story. Leave me alone, I said. Sorry, said the fly. I saw you looking miserable and couldn't pass you by. So we already know our character is feeling sad or miserable. Leave me alone, I said. Sorry, said the frog. You're looking so downhearted, I had to leave my log. Leave me alone, I said. Sorry, said the robin. Pardon me for asking, but did I hear you sobbing? So there's the boy's also crying or sobbing. Leave me alone, I said. Sorry, said the cat. Your sadness makes my whiskers wilt. I think we need to chat. Leave me alone, I said. Sorry, said the rabbit. Helping people who need help has always been a habit. So all these creatures, they notice they're observing that the boy is feeling sad and they want to help. Leave me alone, I said. Sorry, said the cow. I'd like to cheer you up as well, but need to find out how. Leave me alone, I said. Sorry, said the magpie. I see that you're unhappy. What I need to see is why. So the boy isn't telling them what's bothering him. He's not speaking up for himself. Um, and the problem, it feels to him, I think is getting bigger and big bigger. He doesn't know what to do. Leave me alone, I said. Well, sorry, said the pig, but problems should be talked about, especially if they're big. What wise word from our pig friend, problems should be talked about, especially if they're big. Leave me alone, I said. They're far too big for you. They're far too big for anyone. There's nothing you can do. So here are his friends. They care about him. And I know boys and girls here at Star, we are like this too. We are a family and we help each other and care about each other. So let's see if the animals and the little boy can solve the problem. Oh, here it is. My problem is a giant, so big he blocks the sun, who teases me and bullies me every day for fun. Imagine how the little boy is feeling. Imagine how you would feel if that was your problem. A giant full of nasty words, a giant huge and strong, who casts a shadow over me as dark as it is long. So casting a shadow means it's covering him um, and dark and long. It's very intimidating for the boy. But notice how the animals are still standing by him. I think they might be planning something. There's nothing you can do for me. There's nothing you can say. Oh no, the ground is shaking. He's heading right this way. You can feel his emotions. He's getting, he's been terrified. Even the animals are shaking a little bit. The ground is moving. And then here is the part in the book that touches my heart every time I read it. 
Leave him alone, they said. The rabbit and the fly, the cow and the frog, the pig, the cat, the robin and the magpie. Together they stood up for the little boy. Leave him alone. I shut my eyes, then opened them. Not one voice, two or three, but eight loud voices all at once were standing up for me. Tall as mighty tree trunks, brave as brave could be, my friend stood tall and strong and firm and faced my enemy. Doesn't that fill your bucket? That those little animals are so tiny compared to the giant, yet they are there with their friend trying to help. The giant stopped and stared at us, not knowing what to say. He sneered and snarled and frowned a lot. And then he walked away. He took his dark, dark shadow and stomped across the hill. I never saw him after that, and I know I never will. I think there's a powerful book. Um, I stumbled upon it one day and thought I have to read this to our students. I love this picture of them feeling so good for what they did together. So boys and girls, what I want you to do is please know that you are never alone. If you ever have a problem with someone being mean to you, whether it's here at school, on the bus, in your neighborhood, um, at your sports practice, wherever it is, you are not alone. Someone will help you. But you have to tell them. You have to tell someone. Now here is our poster. Here is what we have talked about and learned about um, over the time we've been together since you were in kindergarten. When someone is mean, we want you to try to stand up for yourself and voice yourself. We want you to tell the person, stop, use your words. Stop, I don't like that. Stop, you're hurting my feelings. Stop. If that does not work, we want you to walk away from that person or that situation, do something else or join a group. Be around where other people are so you are safer and feel better. And then talk. Talk to an adult if the problem doesn't stop. Tell someone. We cannot help you if you don't tell us. And you may have to tell us more than once. You may have to tell more than one person. This is the activity that um, I provided for you. Basically, it reminds you of the three steps and you get a chance to draw those steps. You know, if I'm short on time, so I'll go ahead and just show the one that I did already. In this first box, you're telling the person to stop. Stop it, I don't like that. In the second box, here is the person being mean and you are walking away. And the third one, this is you and here's your grown up and you're saying, please help me, I have a problem. I need someone to help. And then at the bottom, um, you can share a time when you solved a problem or what you would do now that you know these steps. So boys and girls, thank you for joining me. I promise I will have a different angle next time. Um, the sun is quite bright. Not that I'm complaining because it's wonderful to see the sun. Um, thank you for joining us. I love you. I miss you. Have a wonderful day.